a day first, just a long day with doubleheader out there. What is the plan? Obviously, you saw the lineup for the first game, but how do you hope to kind of just manage the guys balancing, whether it's the DH or uh, with the lineups that look like for the first two games? Um, well, we're going to activate uh, Ryan Pepio. Um, so the hope is that Ryan and uh, Michael will take down the first game. And uh, and as far as kind of the position players, um, just kind of trying to balance the guys that played last night uh, to give them a later start to not play the first game, to play the second game. Um, I want Gavin to play both games. So he'll play second base, second game. DA's the first game, so he won't be you know too much on him for one day. Uh, so it's kind of just a balancing act today. Dave, uh, how much of a heavy heart are you going to have today with the passing of Maury? Yeah, um, I found out last night, and um, I know he passed peacefully, and uh, I am going to have a heavy heart. Uh, Maury was very uh, impactful to me, um, personally, professionally. Um, he's going to be missed, and I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to him, but... Uh, yeah, this one, this one is uh, tough for me. Uh, he was, uh, he did a lot for the community and a lot for the Dodgers, and, and um, he was a friend, a father, mentor, all of the, all of the above for me. So uh, this is a tough one for me. Would you be sitting here without him? Um, probably not. Probably not. Um, probably not. What did those hours in Maury's pit? mean to you as a player? Um, I don't know. It just he just uh, he just loved the game of baseball, loved um, working, and, and loved the relationship with players. And uh, we spent a lot of time together, a lot of time together. And so he kind of really just kind of showed me to appreciate my craft and uh, what it is to be a big leader. And um, he just loved to teach, and so I think a lot of where I get my excitement, my passion, uh, my love for players is from Maury. And was you that? wear number 30? In because of Maury, that's right, yeah. that's right, that's right. Dave, are you, how grateful are you that he got to see you get to this point of your career after all those days in this pit and all that? Um, you know what? In some strange way, I think that uh, I uh, enriched his uh, post baseball career as far as you know watching every game that I played or managed and um, you know I remember even during games when I played uh, here he would come down from the suite and uh, tell me I need to bunt or I need to do this and he would come and I'd meet him at the end of the dugout and <laughs> The coach said, hey, Maury's at the end of the dugout and wants to talk to you. <laughs> so it just showed that, you know, he was in it with me. And uh, even to this day, he would be there cheering for me and, and rooting for me. Was he an instructor at spring training? He was. He was. So you would do, you know, like actual base stealing? He was. He did it all, base stealing, bunning, and uh, he was uh, very instrumental. You always brace yourself. I, mean, I know you were aware that his health was not in great physical condition, but when you can you brace yourself for losing a mentor like this ever? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, you know, his wife Carla is just an angel, and so just knowing that he was resting peacefully, um, and I know he's resting in a better place today, and so. So yeah, you you know it's coming, and you just you're just grateful that he's not suffering. So that that's the main thing. Thank you. Sorry, Dave. No, no, no. It's uh, he's in a better place than all of us. He's, yeah. He's, he's, he's in a great spot right now. So Michael Groves has improved his last couple starts. Seems like he's just incrementally improved. What do you what do you see? I think with Michael. Um, I, I think there's there's conviction, there's uh, there's trust. Um, for any player, once you get to this level, to kind of have some success and belief in what you do is good enough. Um, I think he's starting to feel that. And uh, it's a leap of faith to trust your stuff and your ability. So, um, you know, to throw the fastball over the plate, to throw the curveball in the strike zone and trust that it's good enough. You know, those are things that young players got to kind of see 
and um, and so those things I, I saw his last outing, actually his last couple, but specifically the last one against these guys. So um, expect that you'll see more of the same. And I think with Ryan, who you'll see uh, in this first game, he's got to get to that next step. Um, so. You know, his last one in AAA was really good, but he's got to do it consistently at this level. Who's going to be the DH for the second game? Uh, Justin will be the DH for the second game. Dave, uh, did Trinan, I know it's early in the morning, but are you aware if Trinan bounced back physically from yesterday? From I, I talked to him last night, and uh, he felt great. So my expectation is he woke up. Maybe some general normal soreness, but um, I think... Uh, the Thursday activation is very possible, yeah. Did you talk Freddie into taking the nightcap off? No. Didn't even attempt it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Yep.